Okay, guys, I'm going to show you something real quick that I've been dealing with about the past, uh, I'd say, 24 hours. So, went, decided I need to do an oil change on the Harley, and once I started getting into it, I found out the reason why I never take my bike to a Harley dealership. This is why. So, as you're looking at this, I'll flip this around and show you what uh, what's going on here. Okay, so we have a 2012 Fat Bob. If you look at this freaking oil filter, so this is after doing the screwdriver method, this is after doing uh, anything and everything. I tried uh, a regular uh, pipe wrench, tried the actual wrench that fits the five, uh, whatever it is, the five, uh, uh, I can't remember what size it is, but it's like five eighths or something wrench that to try to get that oil filter off. Nothing worked, here's why. So when I took it into Harley, whenever I install these, I'll ever put them on and I do about a quarter turn after it gets, you know, after the uh, gasket touches, you do a quarter turn tight, maybe a little bit of a half turn, that's it. So you can take it off by hand if you need to later. When I took it into Harley, these idiots, because if you can see how stripped this is, they went and tightened it when they checked out the bike when I had my blinkers relocated. All right, so the way I figured out how to get this freaking thing off because, like I said, the screwdriver method didn't work, wrapping it in tape didn't work, uh, pretty much anything I tried. And it was so marred up, I even went there and took a, uh, uh, a vice grip, attached it, and tried to torque it, and it still wouldn't come off. So, all else fails. This is something you can do, which I just figured out. So, it takes some little bit of modification, a little bit of fun, but you take a, uh, whatever it's called, I can't remember the term for these things, uh, uh, a hose, hose clamp, and tighten it on there, and actually I, I slowly crushed this a little bit to give it a little bit of extra give. Now, took a regular wrench uh, cover that's used for uh, taking off normal oil filters, and I used a grinder and, and cut out this section. Now what this does, if you look at this, when it plugs up in here, it will catch on the edge there. Now, when you start torquing this thing, it'll actually start pulling it. But you're going to destroy this pipe wrench, and you need to be careful because when this thing starts spinning around, you have to untighten this and take it back off and then reposition it because when it gets down here on the Harleys, it, it's so close to the engine, it's going to hook and catch on it. So you have to go on the other side of the screwdriver, knock it back off, loosen it, put it back on, you have to do this three or four times. So that's where I'm at. Um, it's, it pulls it off easily. Once you're in there, you gotta take a lot of torque because obviously a gorilla or somebody, He-Man or somebody decided they want to tighten this thing per their Harley checks when they're doing the bike. Uh, also, they loosened up my uh, good old fairing and almost killed me on right when I left the uh, parking lot, but that's neither here nor there. So I'll post pictures after this attached to the video of what this thing looks like when it comes off. But like I said, I've already gotten a two turn or about a uh, done about a half a turn already. I'm gonna keep going until it gets off and give you guys just a heads up of, of an extra thing you can try if this is really all else fails because of how tight these are in here. Alright guys, so got it off. Look back in here. As you can see when you're doing this, I had to remove this is a California bike, so it had to uh, remove the this little sensor right here. Um, that goes into the California sensor. Obviously the whole throttle linkage, I mean, it's sitting over here on the ground. Um, to basically get everything out of your way to get back in here to do this because there's a lot of hammering involved uh, when you have to get that stupid uh, clamp off. So, like I said, you're gonna destroy the clamp in the process of doing it. Um, but, like I said, I had to take that back on and off about twice. Then here's the oil filter uh, wrench that I had to destroy. Um, and then I was just using a uh, hose clamp. This one is, I can't even see the size. I think it's like a uh, uh, eight inch diameter, I believe, something like that, or six inch or eight inch. Um, then obviously you have your uh, 5 16 uh, to loosen and tighten it because getting a screwdriver in there just ain't happening. And you can see what the uh, good old oil filter looked like. I even tried at one point jamming two screwdrivers in here with a torque wrench, or not a torque wrench, a uh, pry bar, and with a vice grip around it, and twisting it, trying to break that seal. And that did not happen. So, 
you look at this and look at how the seal looks. Um, don't know if you know what these look like normally, but they are not nearly that compressed. So obviously this idiot crushed this thing on here for no reason whatsoever. So um, now that I see that little bit of burr stuff on there, I need to make sure that's part of hopefully the that shop towel and not something inside here that's actually damaged. But just give you guys a heads up, just something extra you can look into if you have all else fails trying to get one of these damn oil filters off. Um, help me, and hopefully we'll help you guys. Enjoy your weekend, gents.